Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cool alarm. It's uh, pretty cool and it's also easy and free, of course. Um, for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. Not only this, uh, just uh, open up a standard EXE, but uh, I'm going to use JawCam too. I'll provide a link in the description and explain later on what it does and stuff like that so oh god damn it holy shit <laughs> just restarted again mm. god damn it uh view toolbar where can I see toolbar ah uh, there it is Sorry, so I go to components and scroll down and choose Windows Media Player. Apply it and close it. If you get something uh, from registry permission and stuff, just open Visual Basic as a admin. And if you can't open it as an admin, just ignore it because it will work too, uh, or it should be work too. So I'm going to change the name to Win Player. One, when player one. Uh, maybe you saw the same code and stuff in my previous tutorial on how to add music. So, double click on the form and go to form underscore load and type in when player one dot URL equals add dot path and between quotation, sorry, forward slash, and then uh, a alarm soundy thing. You can search it on findsounds.com, um, or you can also get it from. I don't know if I uploaded it to my site. Just look in the video description. Um, I got this one from. Um, uh, how do you call it? The Avis anti virus. And it's called malfound.wav. Uh, you, this is the sound you hear when you when it's detected malfun uh, malfunction stuff. Or um, I don't know, forgotten how you call those things. So when I've done that, uh, close this one. Double click on the media player and go to uh, play state change and if me dot oh when player one dot play state equals w w m p p s stop so then press tab and then type in um let's see when player one oh one dot controls God damn it! Controls dot play. Oh, pale, play, play like that. Else and if like that. So, um, the uh, music sound is not where it will be debugged. So I have to build it to check it out. Make project.exe or oh, actually project one and let's see YouTube tutorial there. Press K, yes. Okay, now we're gonna open it up. Here it is. And it plays and repeats, as you can hear. So now we make this one invisible. So just easily by going to the properties of the form and make it uh, visible equals false and show in taskbar equal false. You make your project again. Do not check it out. You you can check it out, but um, then you have to close it uh, any longer way. You see it works and nothing in is in the screen. So I go to Task Manager, YouTube, Tutorial.exe and close the process and process. 
So that worked. Whereas now you don't have to save the project or I don't need to. So I'm gonna run Jawcam. It's a webcam application. And uh, there it is. Here you have the preview, and here you have the um, you have this uh, stuff, stuff, the preview, and the control panel. So go to Windows Motion Detection. Go to Settings. Uh, it's already selected entire image. If you don't change that, go to Define Area. Click on the button, and now you can define the area. Let's see. I've got a button or a door right there. I'm going to select it and press OK. Here you can play with the sensitivity and stuff like that. You can also change the ma mark color, but it doesn't matter. So I go to actions and it should look like this. So go uncheck play sound and run exe. Go to settings and choose your program. So I'm going to enable the thing now. I'm going to move my hand over the webcam. And now it's running. So it's pretty cool. Let's see, now I'm going to close YouTube.exe, YouTube tutorial.exe. So actually this was um, the uh, uh, the tutorial. Um pretty easy I think. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, yeah, actually uh, please subscribe, uh, feel free to comment and rate and I'll see you in the next tutorial